Hey guys, hello, happy Friday. I am just hopping on because I wanna get this video started. Taking you through what I'm calling my weekend wellness routine. And it starts the second I get home on Friday. So I come home, do my normal routine. Um, on Fridays, my building, we do get to leave a little earlier than the rest of the week. Um, but on Fridays, I don't have a workout scheduled or anything so that I'm able to come home. I'm gonna take a shower, put on some loungewear, comfy clothes. I'm gonna brew myself a cup of decaf coffee. Uh, sometimes I'll do tea, but just grab a warm beverage, especially with this cold weather. We also have some snow moving in, so I'm gonna put my dishes away and stuff like I normally would, but I'm going to get cozy, get comfy, and just decompress. That's my goal on Fridays when I can. Um, not every Friday is the same, but most are um, where we don't really have anything scheduled. So I am able to come home and just relax. So I'm going to, well, first off, I get this coat taken off, put my keys away, stuff like that. And then we are on to this weekend, weekend of wellness. Hey, I am about to jump in the shower, but I wanted to show you that um, just some of my skincare routine and part of wellness, part of this is just really taking care of myself, my needs, my makeup ends up rubbing off throughout the day, but that's okay. This is what we're left with. I am going to do myself a favor by using this deep cleansing oil by DHC to get all that makeup off. I'm telling you, this stuff is awesome. I just started using it. I think my brother recommended or suggested using an oil cleanser to get the makeup off because I'm finding that I'll cleanse my face or I'll use, I've been using these makeup remover wipes, which do work and I like them for getting like my eye makeup off. But, and then I would cleanse my face in the shower, but then I was finding like, I would go in with a toner afterward and on my cotton round, I was so get, swipes of makeup that was makeup residue still on my skin since I started using this that has not been the case so I'm gonna do myself a favor do a nice nice deep cleanse with this um cleanse my face in the shower and just get right to it so I can get into some comfy clothes also pretty casual on this Friday I just wore this like longer hooded sweatshirt with um pockets I threw on some leggings and this vest I've shown in, a, I think in one of my previous video, videos, I love throwing it on when I can. It's warm, it's comfy. Yeah, I just think it's cute too. All right, and something else I'm gonna do, which might not seem like it's adding to my wellness necessarily, but it is because look at this massive pile of laundry. So. I'd like to think that this is good for my well-being because I'm going to take care of my laundry now. At least get it started so that I'm not having to work on it this weekend when I'm trying to relax and recover. So I'm going to get this bad boy going. I really piled up this week. I feel like I didn't, I don't know if I didn't do a load last week or if I feel like because it's winter, I'm wearing more layers, longer sleeves. It just takes up more space in my hamper. But Regardless, I'm going to get this going and then it's on to, and then, so I'm going to get my laundry started and then it'll feel like more of a reward, I guess, um, when I make my little decaf coffees. So no more talking. Let's get this laundry started. All right, next up, I'm gonna make a little decaf coffee. Like I mentioned, I just wanna do like a little warm beverage. Sometimes I'll do a hot tea, but today I'm just craving some coffee. So I'm just gonna do a small cup of this decaf blend from Caribou Coffee. I love our Ninja. I love our Ninja because I'm able to make just a small cup. So I turn it to, let's just do, we're just gonna do a cup and 
I love, there's this scoop as well. And on it, I'm going to use, it says either, let's see, just a two to three scoops for the cup. So I'm probably going to do two scoops of this. While that is brewing, I'm gonna do a little frothing concoction with this Chobani oat coffee creamer and vanilla, and I'm gonna throw in some more oat milk as well. If you can find this, oops. I didn't know this existed until I went grocery shopping the other day. Um, delicious, it's sweet, it's not as creamy, I feel like. So it's not creamy, but it's the sweetness, the flavor is all there, so. I'm going to use a little bit of both of these to get a nice little frothed mixture. Another thing that is probably obvious you hear time and time again, but drink your water. That is part of not just my weekend wellness, but my everyday wellness. It's part of one of my habits. I'm trying to start just drinking more water. So I use this big old Zach cup mug. I have a, a cup designated just for water. I bought this a while ago and it doesn't get used for anything except for water. So I think that's really important is designating, just having your like water cup. And I find that using reuse, reusable straws, just being able to just sip out of this cup. So I'm gonna get this filled up with water and then I'm gonna put together my little coffee drink. Mmm, yummy. Frothy, yeah. And I'll let you know right now, I'm gonna be watching at least one YouTube video, maybe a couple, but that's where you're gonna find me for the next, who knows how long. For the longest time, I hadn't been taking any type of vitamins, but I finally jumped on taking these elderberry gummies just to get zinc and vitamin C in my system, as well as using a probiotic prebiotic on a daily basis. So I usually take these at night and I've been doing a pretty good job of not forgetting them. And I feel like so far they are making a difference. So at this point, my husband and I have already had dinner and I just decided to hang out more on the couch and watch yet another YouTube video.
guys, good morning. Just wanted to hop on here and say hello. Uh, you saw this morning that I <laughs> I slept in. That's something that I do allow myself to do on the weekend, Saturday or su and Sunday, depending on if we have anything going on. If we have plans for the day where we're going to be leaving early, then I will set an alarm. I typically wake up at 6 or 6.30. Today, it got closer to 7.00. Uh, it just felt really good, and I just took the morning really slow. Started my morning with a cup of coffee, as always, and then I just kind of hung out on the couch upstairs, just relaxed, eased into the day. I've just been journaling, and um, also what I like to do on the TV, I put up like live worship music. So right now I'm watching the Red Rocks worship from Red Rocks Church. And I just have it playing um, the worship, their songs as they're on stage. And it's just a live, or I guess a live recording of their worship session. So it's just really, that's just really how I like to just like set the tone for the morning and for the weekend. Just being, spending time in worship and in the quiet and the stillness. And it's just been a really good way for me to embrace wellness. And <clears throat> yeah, definitely something that's been good for my well-being. Uh, I'm going to finish up journaling here, and then also every morning I've been using my devotional on my app, and then on my Bible app, and then I will go ahead and I shared this faith journal that I got recently, so whatever the verse of the day is um, on my devotional, I like to transfer it to my faith journal and really reflect on it and then focus more on like my prayers and my like my prayer requests and everything else like that. So that's something I'll probably do at the end of the day. Cause I usually I'll read in the morning my devotional and then I'll it'll come back around when I do my faith journal. So one of my goals has been to journal consistently every day, but I'm finding that it's on the weekends when I have the time and when I'm in the mindset to journal and I feel like it, the journaling is really re <clears throat> just effective and reflective I'm able to think back on the week and just kind of like dump everything onto this onto the pages so um, I still would like to journal more throughout the week just to be able to reflect more on a day-to-day -day basis today I don't have to get ready for anything I just feel like showering in the warmth and then changing into a workout outfit because I will be exercising this afternoon. So I'm going to change into my active wear so that I can do some desk work. I have homework and then I want to work on a video editing it. And then come three o'clock ish, I will be exercising. So that's another part of my wellness. I found that if I don't exercise on the weekends, if I go Saturday and Sunday without having like a formal exercise session, I really get off track and it's really hard to get back to it on Monday. So I find that <clears throat> my workout schedule um, that has worked for me is Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That has really been helpful and I've really been able to stick to it. Anyways, I'm going to finish this journaling, put laundry away, take my shower, and then yeah, get on with my weekend of wellness.
After getting some fresh air, I started my workout routine. If you're in a slump or don't know where to start with exercising, uh, there are so many channels on YouTube with follow along videos and I found this lovely lady. Her name is Heather Robertson and uh, she's, I've followed her for a while now and I love that she offers sequence of workouts as a challenge. So she'll do like a 14 day challenge um, and I completed that one and then I started another one and it just takes away the planning part for me. I don't have to think about what I'm going to work out that day and I can just focus on following along. So if you haven't found anyone to follow, I suggest following her. Something else I've been doing for my health and wellness is prepping and making healthy snacks and meals just to have readily available. I know that it's easy for me to snack on things that are not the healthiest. So I found these protein slash energy balls that are super yummy. I love all the ingredients that go into them. They're really easy to make. I will link a recipe down below if you are interested in making some for yourself. And then I've been making these healthy little snack packs for my lunches to bring to work.